All right, ladies and gentlemen. So once again, the boys have made it back up to the pier. And we actually just hooked up with our first fish. Looks Hello. like it's a walleye. We've been up here for about a total of five minutes or so. We've been up here too long. First fish going back in the net. We're up here, got up here around midnight, and we're going to be st sending her out here for the night bite. Since Gavin was up here earlier today, he crushed them fishing from shore, so I figured may as well take my boat out here. And that's who is behind the cameras, Gavin. And then we also have Mr. Daniel Proudfoot up there. Catching my second snag of the night, five minutes. Boys. Catching catching some snags, but <laughs> we're up here catching some walleyes. This one was, was on a rip and wrap, and we are fishing right by the dam. That's a decent 20 inch or so. Take my gloves off, get this guy unhooked, and then we're gonna hopefully put the absolute slam fest on him tonight because if you catch one within the first five minutes is usually a pretty good sign. And that was not my first cast, so I'm not not too worried, but this guy chewed it, got it right in the mouth. There we go. Oh well that's a broken hook. That's tough. Alright, well. We got this nice walleye unhooked here. First one of the night, nice 20 incher. Going back. You guys want to see an absolute nighttime slam fest up here to Pier Green Bay, Wisconsin. Stick along, stay tuned because we're going to be out here for probably five, six, maybe seven hours tonight. Smell ya. All right, so we got Mr. Proudfoot on the board. He's throwing a little scatter wrap, number nine, I think it is. Just picked it up from Fleet Farm today. His first time ever being up in the pier. What do you think about it, Mr. Proudfoot? Well, considering I've caught a fish this year. <laughs> <laughs> Feels pretty good, huh? I can't complain to <laughs> Definitely not the biggest. Oh, he's milking too. Yeah, he's upset. That's because I kind of just hooked him in the side. Oh, here. and you got a hook in your jacket. Yeah, I do. Well, we're going to get this guy unhooked, and then we're going to drop him back in the water. <laughs> All right. Beautiful, probably 16 inch or so. Not what we're up here for, but a walleye is a walleye. Bye, bud. All right, let's get another one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Gavin's got his first fish of the day. Bringing him in on the old rip and wrap. Or no, that's the jigging plastic right there. There we go. Oh, God. Mr. Gartman on the board. Let's see what we got in there. That's some gold. Nice, beautiful, probably another 20 inch or so. Been out here for probably 25 minutes or so now. We've all got a got a walleye on the board. You guys missed a white fish that I caught, but those aren't too much to be proud of. That got that guy back in the drink. Let's get some more, buddy. Oh God, yeah. Oh, what, what happened here, man? All right, well, we've been, been out here trying to grease some fish. Haven't got many. I just decided to throw blade bait on and within the oh, there you go. Within the first two pumps of the rod on my first cast with the blade bait, I landed myself a nice probably 22 inch or so. We're gonna get this guy out, show the camera, and then I'm probably gonna measure this one just to see how big it is, just for reference, but it's a pretty nice walleye. My biggest one out of out of here yet this year. But it's once again, still super early, so what do you expect? All these fish are mainly just still river fish. All right. Got this guy unhooked. Nice, probably 21, 22 or so. Maybe a little bit bigger. Didn't bust out the bump for it. Let's see what she's sitting at. That's a white fish there, Ricky. We got another one dialed up. We got another fish hooked up. This one is 22 and three quarters. So that's definitely not a bad walleye. I almost pushed We're gonna grab a couple feet. quick picks here. I don't know if you guys can see me, but there's the fish again, 22 and three quarters. We're gonna see if we can get a couple quick picks and then assist Dan Proudfoot with the nuts, so. All right, so we got a couple nice quick picks with this guy, just under 23, my biggest one. Drop her back in there. Mr. Back Whitefish. Mr. Proudfoot with the Whitefish. And we got Mr. Proudfoot hooked up again. Once again on the crankbait. And once again a smaller than average size walleye, bud. Thanks there, bud. <laughs> <laughs> a walleye is a walleye, a man. A walleye is a walleye. Gavin, give a little update to the ladies and gentlemen at home. All right, so we're out here tonight. 
catching some big old donkey walleyes. Whoa, voice crack there. <clears throat> but I was here earlier today and uh, gave him the good old, good old slam show. Bought a couple biggins. If you want to go check out the uh, Instagram, it's at uh, Gavin uh, underscore Garvin 66. Give it a like, you know. Give him the good old shout out, you You're know. You're blocking the light there, bud. <laughs> but this man only catches <laughs> dinks. Only dinks. Oh, poor guy. Straight Those to the words. dome piece. That's fine. Sorry, All right. I'm gonna drop this guy back oh, in the drink. Woo! There he goes. All right. Take care. Been out here for about an hour or so, and that's our fifth walleye. So it's not been horrible, but it also hasn't been the greatest. We're gonna stick out out for another five, six hours and see what the night brings. Indeed. All right, so we just moved spots. Just got the heater out a little bit because it's also <laughs> chilly Bye. out here. But Gavin is it's hooked up. Is it? Gavin's got a little walleye on, so we're gonna get the net out eventually. Bring him over here, man. There we go. Another walleye in the boat on the purple v-rod shoot it yes, yes sir. sir yes sir just a little rip and then just a little hook of the set i don't you know but uh just get some fun you heard this man oh get some fun gavin's been drinking a lot of water tonight <laughs> lots of water <laughs> All right, we're gonna get this little little gold ball back in the drink. Just a little football. It's a little. It's a little guy. Just a little guy. There you go. Let's get her back in the drink. Let's get another one. Indeed. <laughs> Ricky. What All right. This is the smallest walleye I've ever seen get caught out of the Fox River. I just changed to a plastic, a three eighth ounce jig head, and a plastic and. Gavin's gonna follow suit because he can't seem to catch a walleye to save his life. What do you mean? All right, so once again, got another fish on the plastic. Definitely not the size that we were catching earlier, but that guy's going back. We just moved. We're just a little past the dam now. We're kind of on the flat up by Voyager Park here, just casting out some chicks and plastics. But the size seems to be going down a little bit, but the the quality or the quantity of fish seems to be going up so probably gonna stick it around here for another hour or so see if we can maybe catch a couple bigger fish if not probably push back up by the dam and start catching some more crankbaits and some blades so and it is getting a little cold out here the rod tips are starting to freeze up a little bit so you gotta you gotta dry them off every maybe 10 15 minutes my favorite technique is the kiss her a little bit warm her up and we're ready to get back in action, so smell you on the next walleye. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I got a walleye right here by the side of the boat. I'm waiting for Gavin to nut it. <laughs> get him in the net. There she is. All right. Wow. Another one. We're starting to kind of crush him a little bit here now on the, or I should say I am, on the jigging plastic. <laughs> They're chewing them, Gavin. Kevin's got other things on his mind, I think, right now, and I don't think it's fishing, unfortunately, but <laughs> this guy is just chewing. This is not the Wolf River Plastics. The Wolf River Plastics are kind of dust, in my opinion. <laughs> kind of dust. I like the Authentex Plastics. That's the one I'm using right now, and I just picked up some new jigs as well. Another beautiful, probably 20 inch or so, right around there. Gonna get her back in the drink. And let's catch another one. All right, Mr. Gartman is hooked up. Let's see if we can get this Walter in the net for you, buddy. There she is. Another little one. That is on the Acme V-Rod. Show off your catch. There she is. Just another little guy. Hands are pretty cold, so this is the last clip of this fish you will see. But we are throwing it back can no longer keep fish up here all right so we are back hooked up as you guys can tell you can see a little bit more now it's been a little bit of a lull since we've got our last fish probably been an hour or so and gavin's hooked up he he claims it's big uh, oh, 
<laughs> We're about to find out, huh? It's a pretty nice Walter. That is on the old blade bait, purple and silver. Yes, sir. There she is. All right, there we go, guys. Nice, probably 21 inch or so. Starting to warm up a little bit. Sun's starting to come out a little bit, so hopefully that'll start off the breakfast too. All right, Gavin's, Gavin's got the stroke down now. Was slacking a little bit earlier today, but now he's greasing him in the boat. Happens a little bit easier when you're a little bit more sober in the face, but <laughs> it happens when you're having fun, you know? Morning came around and the walleyes are starting to chew. Get this guy popped out and drop her back male. in the water. There you go. Let's hope we can get on some big daddy mamas. Big daddy mamas, you know? Welcome back. We got Gavin Gartman. 46 hooked up once again. I wasn't saying your IG handle. Got another nice little Walter, just a little shaker though. That's all Gavin's really been catching today. Watch that rod snap. All right. Hasn't been a crazy productive evening slash morning bite, but We've been getting her done. Probably 12 to 14 walleyes in the boat or so. Ain't too bad. Shit happens, man. Gotta get dialed on the Walters, though. So I finally got my first fish in, first fish in the last two hours or so. Let's get let's get a knot in this sucker before we worry about recording, bud. Let's get, let's get him in the net. All right. <laughs> now we got him in the net. Now we can talk and mess around a little bit. Got this walleye, first one for me in about two hours. Gavin's been keeping the boat, catching a couple fish here and there. We were pretty cold earlier in the night, but now it's obviously daylight now, so it's starting to warm up a little bit, but still definitely not the warmest though. We're probably gonna give it another hour or so, depending on the bite. But I had this out and now he's back in there. All right. Got that guy out, drop her back in the water. Let's get a couple more before we get out of here. Smell you then. All right, just moments after I caught my fish, Gavin decides to hook up. Skiing in the walleyes. Starting to pick up a little bit. Thought it would have been a little bit better at night, but it seems like the morning bite's kind of more of the thing. There she is. Look at that beautiful walleye right there. Oh, and also, I tried to tighten down my rod a little bit and I ended up, oh, well, now it's completely loose of the rod, but Fenwick HMX rods, don't really recommend them. This cork right here is, I don't know, I don't think it's even cork. Some sort of just like shit foam, but. Gavin's gonna get this guy unhooked and drop him back down. All right, there she is. Back to the drink. Let's get another one, bud. Oh yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think we figured out the pattern. They are chewing the blade baits right now. That's three fish in about three minutes between me and Gavin. I think Dan's gotta hop on the train because they are, when they're chewing them like that, that's you know, that's how you know you're throwing the right color, throwing the right presentation. I'm gonna get this guy unhooked, rinse and repeat. Absolutely beautiful 20, 21 inch fish. Going back in the drink. And another one. Now oh, you got him. Gavin is back hooked up with the old V rod. Get him in the boat. <laughs> yes, sir. Just barely hooked, but. A fish in the boat is a fish in the boat. We're thinking about lasting maybe another 15, 20 minutes out here. We're all getting pretty tired now. Daniel Proudfoot has reached beyond tired point. But me and Gavin are still still here casting away, chucking away, and still getting a couple fish here and there. All right, there 
There she goes. Let's get a couple more. And the very next cast, I haven't even been able to get my rod back in the water. Oh, you know, it's just because of the good old G. Lewis. Oh, yes, sir. <coughs> see what we got here. That, oh, that's not worthy. No, no, no. Let me come over here, get this nut out, and then, oh yeah, that's a nice fish. It's a good 23 inch or so. Hell yeah, back to back cast, baby. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Can't beat this, man. He got her pin there. Either our biggest or second biggest fish of the night. As you guys can see, there really aren't too many boats out here still yet. It's about 7.15, 7.30. And, I mean, it is a weekday, but there's only five boats on the river, which is kind of nice. Normally, it's a circus out here. Nice little fish right there. go back in the drink she goes all right dropping this nice 22 and a half inch back in the water let's crank out a couple more rick and another one we are on them now ladies and gentlemen right when we wanted to start packing her up and heading out that's how they always get you they know when you're getting ready to leave and they say eh, we have other plans so I don't know, we might have to stick it out here a little longer, but I'd like to get home at, within the next hour, for, not get home, but leave within the next hour for sure from here, hopefully. Get this guy out, get it out of my glove first, and get it out of the fish. Nice, 18, 19 inch or so, back in the drink. Alrighty. About five minutes later, and we got ourselves another greaser. Yeah, what do you think about this type of fishing? It's pretty, uh, pretty fun when you're catching. This ain't even fishing anymore. We're catching. Get this guy unhooked. Back in the drink she goes. Beautiful. We got a bent over rod again, ladies and gentlemen. Testing in another 18 inch walleye. This one probably is, probably on a little small. There we go. Another beautiful fish. Still real early. The water's only 37 degrees, so not quite spawning yet or even pushing up to spawn out of the lake. But. The amount of fish we've been catching in the last probably 20, 30 minutes has been a pretty good deal. So I'm gonna stick it around for maybe, maybe 20 more casts or so, and then we're gonna head out of here because all the boys are pretty tired. All right, so we got Gavin bent over once again. This is going to be our last fish. We're gonna head out after this cast. We are pretty slumped, but had a wonderful day out here on the Fox. Did a little overnight send. The overnight send didn't really pay off, but being out here early enough in the morning definitely did. We ended up with probably 20 to 25 walleyes in the boat. Not a horrible day average, being probably about this size, 18 to 20 inches or so. Gavin and I both ended up with about, I think, probably 10 to 13 fish apiece. And then Dan, the tired man, he got two. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine with him, he says. <laughs> he is sleep deprived. Slumped. He is slumped. Well, his wish is coming true pretty soon here. So we're going to get this guy back in the water. And we appreciate you guys for watching these Robin Rap videos up here on the Fox River up in De Pere. That wall I just got released. And we are going to head in for the day. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.